Well, for me, the big um, change that happened with faith is, you know, the, the typical American mentality is it's all about you. And if you just try hard enough and you can do anything you put your, put your mind to and set your mind to doing, a very individualistic notion. Um, I think uh, faith in all the various traditions sort of takes you outside of yourself a bit and, and maybe um, opens yourself up to, to a higher power. I, I think that's part of the, um, the strength and the power of say something like Alcoholics Anonymous, where you know the first, the, the initial, as one patient told me, the, the, the basic motto is, I can't, you can, I'll let you, you know, it's this just like, I, I, can't, I can't do this on my own. Um, but I believe that with the aid of a higher power that, that I, I can, it, it's that quote, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. So for people who, for whom that is a belief system of theirs and an important part of their life, then I encourage them to, to draw upon that and to, to grow in their spiritual uh, tradition, whether it's Buddhism, Christianity, uh, Catholicism. Um, and not only does it, for some patients, does it get them plugged back into a community, um, which can be um, supportive and encouraging and um, give a person a sense that they're not alone. Um, but now they're also drawing upon a power that's not of their own, right? And they're, they're drawing from whether it's nature or from God or, or from Buddha, um, they're, they're tapping into that. Um, and so I know in my own experience of speaking as a Christian, that for me, when I look at my own life, my areas of greatest transformation have paradoxically been those areas that when I sort of like surrendered and said, look, I, I cannot uh, do this uh, on my own, Lord, help me, um, that I've, I've had major breakthroughs in those areas. So um, my, my interviews with patients is just basically asking the question, is spirituality an important part of your life? And if it is, to what extent are you tapping into that or drawing upon that to help you in your everyday life, um, in, in, in your choices about what you eat and how you take care of your body, in your choices about how you interact with other people? And again, it's much more about helping them to see the connection and you know, draw upon that as a source of strength rather than, you know, any sort of directive um, uh, orders like do this, do that.